Hello and welcome to another free video brought to you by BeYourOwnIT.com where we provide, with, we provide you hardware or support for hardware issues, software issues, virus problems, spyware problems, web design issues, and so much more, all available from our website at BeYourOwnIT.com. And if you're watching this video today and it helps you out, do us a favor and help us out by subscribing to our community so we can keep you updated as we upload more and more videos. Uh, today's topic is installing AOL Instant Messenger. Uh, I haven't installed it in a long time, and it occurred to me that a lot of people get tripped up during installing it, and uh, I'll go through it here for the first time with you guys as well. You're going to want to go to aim.com, A-I-M.com. It makes it really easy just to uh, choose to install now, and we're going to save it. And then once it downloads, typically just like all of the other chat programs, Yahoo, MSN, ICQ, um, they're all, all the installs are the same. You'll need to sign up for an AOL account, which is free, and uh, you can do all the same things you can with other chat programs. The reason a lot of people switch between them is because certain people you know use one or the other. It's not really because one is that much better than another one, at least in my opinion. I mean, AOL Instant Messenger is probably one of the more popular ones. However, MSN Messenger is extremely popular because it comes free with Windows and a lot of people use it. So of course we'll agree to their their uh, terms of service. Again here with as with all of them you want to choose custom and get rid of all these other options. You don't want to install the AIM toolbar, you don't want to make AOL your home page, you don't want AOL your default search engine. You don't want these sorts of programs messing with your computer. What happens is you install multiple programs, maybe you have AIM and maybe you have Yahoo Messenger. Maybe you even have MSN Messenger. Maybe you use all three. Uh, well, all three of them you know, might want you to install toolbars, and now you've got three toolbars, and your, your Internet Explorer or Firefox is all messed up because you've got tons of uh, toolbars fighting each other to serve you up ads and, and get their data about how you browse and everything like that. So unless for some reason you're a huge fan of the AOL toolbar and you actually want it, uh, you know, then you can choose to install it if you like, and if you want to use their search engine as your default, you can also do that too. Um, you can also install AIM Tools or QQ Games, which I'm not going to do, but you can do that. QQ Games can be kind of fun. Um, you and your friends can play games. And now the install is completely done. And just like the other chat programs, it's going to ask me to sign in or create an account. Well, since we don't have an account, they give you the option right here, get a screen name. So we're going to do that. It's going to launch a browser window. And you're going to want to, you can either use an existing email address as a screen name, or you can create a new account. Let's create a new account. account. We'll pretend that we don't have anything. Our desired screen name is going to be be your own IT, which I'm sure is taken, but maybe not. And then your display name can be different than your actual screen name. But we'll leave ours the same. Um, what's your favorite song? Boy, I don't know. We'll just list my favorite ar artist. Page of the Lion. Alternate email. We'll use support at beyourownit.com. This is if you ever forget your password or anything like that. Date of birth, let's say I'm, we'll do that. Uh, well, you all know I'm male, so I'm not going to mess around with that. USA, and the zip code. And then you agree to their terms of service, and you do their security check, just like everybody else. These are not case sensitive. Sometimes they're difficult to read, and you have to do it multiple times. That usually happens to me. Oh, but I got through, and look at that. Beer on IT is actually available. Holy cats. Okay, so then we'll hit continue. Um, so we're done, and now we can go back to this and type in our screen name and our password. You can let it have it auto sign in whenever you turn on your computer. You can have it save your password. And then you sign in. 
It'll launch the AIM homepage. And what's kind of nice about AOL Instant Messenger is it's got tons of things like uh, with bots, uh, movie phone, so you can find out what's going on with your movies. There's all sorts of little bots in here that can help you out, actually. Um, and adding contents again or contacts here again it's easy but they also have other features like the radio you can do AOL mobile on your phone you can check your email you can play games and you can use chat too if you want to just chat within a you know with several people at once you can do that sort of thing um, adding content adding contacts is you know you can save a buddy list you can load a buddy list under aim and then uh, under edit you can add a buddy and then here you can look for their screen name and you can choose what group you want them in let's say they're your buddy you can type in their screen name their nickname their mobile phone number or their email address just to find out who they are and then add them to your list and then start chatting so I hope this helped you install get aim installed uh, it's got a variety of uses and um, if you have any questions just email support at beyourownit.com thanks